This video will guide you through configuring ULC for your vehicle. Let's get started. First, download the latest release from the GitHub repository. You can find a link in the description. If you already have the resource installed, you can skip this step. Find the folder named ULC and extract it to your resources folder. I will move it to my desktop for demonstration. Open the config.lua file in your preferred text editor to review the setting values. Most of these values can be left alone. If you encounter issues, you could adjust them later. Find the external vehicle resources table. This is where you will add the resource names for vehicles that you configure. My resource is named PSP2020, so I will enter it there as a string. You should add the resource name of your vehicle. I added a comma at the end of the line for when I add another vehicle later. Now that we added the vehicle to ULC, we need to configure the settings for the vehicle. Open your vehicle resource and create a text file named ulc.lua. It can either be at the root of the folder or in your data folder. Once it's created, open the file in your text editor. Now paste the template given in the documentation into your file. You can find a link to this content in the description. First add the model name of your vehicle in the name field. The model name is the name of the YTF and YTD files. Next, go through each of the features and configure them according to your vehicle. My vehicle doesn't have steady burns, so I'll skip that section. I want to use park patterns with sync on my vehicle, so I will set use park and use sync to true. Then I'll add the model names of vehicles that I want this vehicle to sync with. Extras 10 and 11 are slower patterns on my vehicle, so I use those as park patterns. Enter them in the P Extras table. Extra 8 is my full lighting, so I will disable that when parked by entering it in the D Extras table. Now let's move on to Horn Extras. On my vehicle, Extra 12 is the takedown lighting. I want those to activate when the air horn is used, so I will set use horn to true and add extra 12 to the extras table. My vehicle doesn't have any extras that can serve as a brake pattern or extra, so I'll leave that how it is and move on to my stage buttons. First, I want to create a button for my full stage or stage to lighting which is extra 8 on this vehicle. Copy the example button and paste it in the buttons table. Then let's fill out the values. I change the label to read stage 2, set the key to 5, and set the extra to 8. When this button is pressed, I also want to hide extras 1 and to so I add those to the off extras table. The key you choose doesn't matter, I chose 5 because of personal preference. I'll repeat this step for my traffic advisor which is extra 9 and my takedown lights on extra 12. You can use an extra as a stage button and in one of the automated features like park patterns simultaneously. Now you can restart your server and when ULC is started, it shows that it has loaded your configured vehicle. ULC has an extensive set of errors and warnings to help you configure vehicles. If you received one, you should be able to resolve it easily. If you need more support, join our Discord. Thanks for watching.